You've never heard of such a school. The students in it do not need to study at all, besides eating and sleeping. The only thing they have to do every day is to protect their faces. When the alarm sounds, every girl must go under the monitor, follow the steps and rub their faces for 10 minutes. Only when the light on the top of the head turns green is the face washed successfully. But if you accidentally miss the time to wash your face, the red light above the head will light up to trigger the alarm. No matter how hard the girl pleads, the security guards who came to hear the sound will be forced to take people away. The girl's helpless cries resonated throughout the corridor, but no one dared to stand up for her, fearing that the next person to be dragged away would be themselves. Three years have passed in a flash. The girls have all grown up to be pretty girls. They were brainwashed by the instructors day in and day out. They knew that the world was coming to an end and this was the only place to escape. Because the air outside is highly toxic, to protect themselves, they must take vitamins every day to detoxify. As they grow older, the floor they live on will change. On the day the girls moved to the 16th floor, the instructor gently told them, all the classes taught at the school have now been completed. Each student has grown up to be a beautiful girl. As expected, soon, a wealthy man will come to choose the daughters he wants to adopt, to take them to a good life without pollution. The girls were overjoyed at the news, they were praying that they would be chosen, but Vivian didn't need to think about that at all, because she was the best girl in her class. Not only did she come first in all her subjects, and she has the most beautiful face, no doubt the rich and famous would be eager to adopt her. While she was preparing for the adoption, Mary, a friend she had just met, approached her in a hurry, whispering to her not to take her vitamins at night. Vivian was about to ask why but was interrupted by a classmate who barged in. She had to keep her questions to herself. Soon it was time to take her medication. Everyone was surprised to find that today's vitamins were blue. Everyone was happy to take it. Soon it was Vivian's turn. Under the scrutiny of the cameras, she obediently put the pill into her mouth and made a fake swallowing motion. She was given the green light as usual by the security personnel who did not notice anything unusual. Vivian quietly made her way to the bathroom, spit out the vitamins in her mouth and flushed them down the toilet. But right away she regretted it. Why did she really do what Mary said? Little did she know that this little action, this little action gave her a glimpse into the darkest side of the school. Soon it was time for bed. Strangely enough, Vivian was having trouble sleeping. She wanted to talk to the girl next door, but found that she couldn't wake her up. The whole dormitory fell into a dead silence. As Vivian was wondering, Mary suddenly got up and came to her side, whispered to tell her the reason why the girls could not wake up. It turned out that those so-called vitamins were actually sleeping pills prepared by the doctor. After taking them, they would stay asleep for more than 10 hours. Just as Mary was about to talk to Vivian a little more, the sound of a card swipe came from the door. Mary had to hastily tell her to remember to pretend to sleep but not to expose. Otherwise the consequences would be unthinkable. The two of them had just returned to bed. The instructor with two guards pushed in the door. At the instructor's signal, Vivian and the other girl were carried on the guards' backs to an unfamiliar room. Vivian, who was pretending to sleep, was curiously looking around the room. The next moment the instructor led a couple into the door like shopping to pick up. The rich man's lustful eyes kept lingering on Vivian's body. It seemed that the next moment he was going to buy Vivian, but the wife was not happy. She went to the front of the mirror and spoke to her aging face. She said she thought the girl next door was more suitable. After saying that, she impatiently urged her rich husband to pay and leave the place. When she heard this, Vivian was shocked. How can an adoption cost money? With doubts in her mind, Vivian was taken back to the dormitory by the guard. When the dormitory was quiet again, Mary rushed over to ask about the situation. Vivian told them everything that had just happened. The two began to suspect that things were not as simple as they thought, so they thought they would take this opportunity to escape and check the situation. But the next thing they knew, Mary was being carried away by the guards. Unable to hold back her curiosity, Vivian sneaked out. Strangely enough, the doors were locked and the sound of the instructor's footsteps were getting closer and closer. Scared, Vivian rushed to find a place to hide. Unexpectedly, she heard the instructor bargaining with the seller. Only then did Vivian understand. There was no such thing as adoption. They were all sold to rich people as commodities at high prices. Knowing the truth, Vivian felt horrified at once. She hurriedly found Mary and wanted to leave the school with him. Unexpectedly, she learned the darker side of the school. School is so creepy. Every day, the girls are monitored for strong sleeping pills. When they fall asleep, they are carried by guards to a strange room, like a commodity for the rich and famous to choose from. According to Mary, the girls slept for 21 hours a day after the sleeping pills were administered. There were four classes in the school. While they slept, other girls would come out to eat and move around. They alternated between each other without disturbing each other. But there was a time in between when everyone was asleep, and that's when Vivian and Mary can escape from here. The first priority was to get an access card, to get out of here without alerting the guards, before the two of them could think of a way out. That day, the school organized the girls to go to the infirmary for vaccination. In the course of the conversation, Vivian found a doctor in front of her very nice. It seems that we can get the access card from him, but before Vivian could figure out how to ask him, a girl beside her suddenly fell to the ground and kept convulsing, and her own arm had a terrible 
terrible bruise, it was obvious that the vaccine she had just received had gone wrong. The innocent Vivian went to the doctor again, to find out for her the cause of her classmates convulsions, but inadvertently revealed that she hadn't taken any vitamins. When she heard this, the doctor was furious. He turned around and took out a double dose of sleeping pills from the cabinet and injected them into Vivian's arm. Even though she had done nothing, the girls around her came out. They were still staring at Vivian with strange eyes. They saw her as a symbol of a purity, like a snake. The only person who dared to approach her now was Mary. The two of them were whispering about how to get out, but a classmate saw them and called the instructor to report them. Because according to the rules, girls who are considered unclean are not allowed to talk to others. Seeing that Vivian had repeatedly violated the rules, the instructor had to put her in a small black room to reflect on. At the same time, Mary on the other side of the room tied a bedsheet into a rope. When the guard came in to check on the situation, she strangled him by the neck while he was unconscious. She stole the access card from him. After a few searches, she finally found Vivian's place. I was just about to swipe the card and get her out. The alarm suddenly sounded. In the nick of time, Mary promised Vivian that she would find another opportunity to get her out. Then she ran away, ignoring Vivian's cries. Early the next morning, Vivian was brought to the classroom by the instructor. It turned out that the guards had caught Mary in a failed escape attempt last night. But they searched the whole body but did not find the access card. The doctor was furious and warned the girls. The doctor warned the girls that they had better hand over the access card they had hidden. Otherwise the consequences would be unthinkable. He even instructed the instructor to personally watch the girls finish their sleeping pills. Soon it was time for bed. Vivian was trying to stay awake. She kept pinching her skin with a hairpin, briefly regaining consciousness. She began to search around for her access card. She knew Mary must have hidden something. But after going through the bed, she couldn't find a missing access card. Frustrated, Vivian returned to her crib, but she found the access card behind the bed by accident. Mary had left herself the only chance to escape. Vivian took the access card and swiped open a door, followed the stairs to the top, looking at the moon hanging high in the sky. She knew that if she escaped through the store, she would be free forever. But somehow Vivian was hesitant at this moment. Earl has been imprisoned for 16 years. Now the chance to escape was right in front of her, but she hesitated, turning straight and running downstairs. Vivian still wanted to take Mary with her. She took her access card and went to the bottom floor. There were countless small rooms enclosed by iron doors. Vivian walked through them one by one. It was only at the end of the corridor that she found Mary locked up. The two of them wanted to leave, but they inadvertently entered the room. The atmosphere here was very eerie. There were all kinds of surgical instruments on the table. The girls went straight to the transparent curtain. They found three corpses resting inside. Vivian had the courage to lift the cloth found that it was a girl whose face had been cut off. Mary was so scared that she screamed out loud. It turns out that this is not a doomsday shelter but a place for the rich and famous to change their faces. The so-called blood sampling for health check. In fact, they are secretly matching the rich and powerful with each other. Now the truth was laid bare in front of them. Instantly, a great sense of fear swept through their bodies. Vivian wanted to take the opportunity to escape, but Mary was determined to save the girls in the house. She used her access card to wake the sleeping girls. She wanted to take them away with her. But no matter what Mary says, the girls don't believe her and scream for the guards. When the two sides were at a standstill, Vivian brought the sleeping instructor on her shoulders, forced her to tell the truth to the crowd. But even so, the girls, who had been brainwashed for years, still refused to believe. It was only when Vivian opened the instructor's hair to reveal the scar on her neck that was stitched up. Only then did the girls believe the absurd truth. Before they left, they put the instructor in a small dark room. But when the girls wiped their cards to open the door, they also set off the building's alarm system. They ran around the street in their bare feet, but the security guards behind them were still in pursuit. So they decided to split up into several groups. Vivian took Mary to a warehouse and held the door firmly against the thick wood. But the doctor found out he was still trying to deceive Vivian with his rhetoric that the girls were originally sold by their parents and that by buying them for a large sum of money, he had given them a second life. How come these girls don't know how to be grateful? He promised Vivian, if he could bring all the girls back to the building, he would forgive them, and he'd find her a good place to live again. But Vivian had seen through the doctor's ugly face. She didn't believe him at all. She did not hesitate to take the knife and cut her face several times, because she knew that what the doctor valued most was her face. Now this face was no longer perfect. Vivian's presence or absence was no longer important to the doctor. The security guards saw this and took the doctor away, so he was just a puppet too. I don't know how long it took for the door of the warehouse to be opened from the outside. The blinding sunlight poured in. The girls opened their eyes and found a policewoman standing in front of them. They finally escaped. Looking at the long lost sunshine sprinkled the earth girl's face also revealed a smile. Their exciting life has just begun. Well, that's it for this video. We will see you next time.